hum. So S O hum, H U M. It's an Ayurvedic uh, meditation. It can be used by practitioners. Sometimes doctors will use it because it helps them focus and calm their mind. And it helps with the communication between themselves and their client or the patient. And so it, it would be a breathing technique or a meditation that they would even practice together to help build that connection. And so, um, so hum is very, very powerful in calming the mind. And as I explain it, you're going to see how your breath work is actually going to cross each other. And so um, we'll go ahead and I'll explain the process. With the um, Soham breath, you're still going to have that same posture, relaxed state, body feels heavy, spine is very erect, allowing the energy to flow up, shoulders are relaxed. We're going to inhale through our nose and exhale through our nose. The tip of the tongue rests behind the front teeth at the roof of the mouth. Relax all those muscles in your face and around your skull. The breath is going to begin at the base of the spine. And so you're going to imagine as you inhale that that breath is moving up from the base, but it's going to move up the front of your body. So it moves up the front of the body and it rests inside the skull, kind of where the pineal gland is or the third eye. And as you inhale, you're going to have an inner voice that says, so, so you're not going to chant it out loud. You're going to do it inside your, your mind and it rests right here. And the exhale, the breath is going to leave and it's going to go back down that same path. But once it hits right where your chin and your neck is, it's going to cross over. And then it's going to run down the back of the spine and settle where it begins. And as you exhale, you're going to think hum. So, so the air comes up, it rests, hum, it goes down, crosses over, goes down the back of the spine, resting at the base. And yesterday, we practiced a breath where we held just a little bit of a gap in between the inhale and the exhale. You can also practice that. So as you inhale, so, have a little bit of a break or a gap, hum, and then it rotates to the back of the spine and rests. You can rest with your hands on your knees. I kind of like to have a cup and set it right below my one point, kind of where that breath is going to settle and begin. And so it's a nice reminder as I rest it here. I don't know if you can see it right there. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll play some music for you. And the breath, the cadence is going to match a breath that is natural for you. So again, the eyes are going to rest. Mouth is closed. Inhale through the nose, bringing that breath up. Letting it rest right here in the mind. Exhaling, letting it out. Hum. Let it go down the back of the spine. Resting at the core, the base of the spine. Inhale, so. Hold it for a moment. Exhale, hum. Go ahead and practice on your own.
Bring it back to your breath as you inhale so. Exhale hum.
Place your hands in prayer position and place them on your third eye. Continuing to inhale, so. Exhaling, hum. Open those palms towards your face and cover your eyes softly. Continuing to inhale, so exhaling hum. Now place both hands on your neck where that breath crossed over, right where your thyroid resides. Continuing to breathe in so, exhaling hum. Now place both hands on your lower abdomen as you breathe 